Hello, I'm Michael Offerk, Ratings Analyst from Standard & Poor's Corporate Ratings covering the media and entertainment sector. Today I'm going to be talking about our outlook for TV broadcast networks. Our outlook for TV broadcast network is relatively stable over the next 12 months based on still relatively healthy scatter rates and our expectation that while CPM increases in the 2012 upfront might not bring increases on par with 2011, top rated networks should still experience healthy gains. So despite audience fragmentation, the TV broadcast networks continue to be advertisers' preferred way to reach mass audiences. That's why they've been able to get consistent CPM gains to offset those audience declines. So over the last five, six years, we've seen relatively flattish total advertising trends, while audiences have been in long-term decline. While there's always that longer-term risk that price increases can no longer offset audience declines, we don't see that happening over the near term. The TV broadcast networks also are poised to benefit from a growing contribution of retransmission consent revenue from their non-donned affiliates as these contracts come up for renewal over the next few years. So for a top-rated broadcast network, total retrans could start exceeding the total U.S. affiliate fees for most cable entertainment networks over the next few years. Media research firm SNL Kagan put out estimates of total retrans for broadcast networks at about $3 billion in 2015. 1.7 of that coming directly from cable and satellite operators, and 1.3 billion coming from the form of reverse retrans from their non-donned affiliates. So with a, a flattish advertising picture and growing retrans, um, the revenue picture looks relatively healthy over the next few years. That said, on the cost side, programming expenses continue to increase. While most networks have done a decent job in keeping entertainment programming costs in check, sports licensing fees continue to escalate namely the NFL. In addition, it's worth men mentioning that the absolute amount of retrans still pales in comparison to the $25 billion of ad spending at the network level. So if traditional advertising did start to meaningfully decline, we don't think that retra retrans could fill in the gap. Thank you. If you'd like to see more information about our outlook on the TV broadcast networks, please see our commentary on U.S. structural shifts across the media and entertainment landscape published on Ratings Direct on March 5th, 2012.